Welcome, guys, gals, and end pals to the greatest debate on the internet. I am your host, Lance of the Syrups, and we're here to find out the question, whose brain cream reigns supreme? In order to do that, I have assembled a team of four of the greatest minds of this, nay, any generation. Before you, we have Carlos Mazza, the brand new bread tuber, but the famous Vox visionary. He traps as many thirsts as he creates. Dylan Burns, the youngest foreign policy advisor to the United States, who has now become a Twitch streamer, which is a natural, a natural evolution of a career choice, I believe. Dylan Burns, thank you so much for being here. Demon Mama, probably, I, I would say, one of the fiercest new debaters on the scene. She is excellent, amazing. Beware her fury, or she will smite thee. And of course, Jangle Science Lab, one of the greatest debaters I've ever seen live, the man who destroyed Milo's career single-handedly after Milo had already done it uh, to himself. Welcome, everybody. The rules are very simple. We're gonna have three rounds. Each round will be a little bit different than the one preceding it. The first round is just a little something to get to know each other, all right? I've asked you all to prepare two facts, two facts about yourselves, each one of you. You're going to be telling the other team two facts about yourselves. One is real and one is a lie. It's gonna be up to the other team to discern which is real and which is false. Now, you are gonna be able to ask three questions as a team, all right? You can choose amongst you who ask them. And of those three questions, you have to answer truthfully. Now, you can do uh, truth by omission, that is permitted. So if you were to say, uh, yes, that may have happened when I was blank, you know, that's okay. The judges, who is me, will uh, judge accordingly whether or not that was fair or not. But I, I believe you're all very honorable people, otherwise I wouldn't have you here. So I, I trust each and every one of you to, uh, to make the right decision. I believe we're going to start today with Demon Mama. Demon Mama, you're gonna introduce yourself by telling one fact about yourself and one lie, and then I'm gonna bring it over to Carlos Burns to uh, figure out the truth and the lie. You may begin. Excellent. So, uh, here are my two facts. I have a fossilized Diplodocus tooth on my streaming shelf, and I also have a piece of the foundation of Heaven's Gate Mansion on my streaming shelf. Wow. Mm. All right. I, I'm i leaning towards Heaven's Gate's Mansion. And the reason why is I know Demon Mama knows a lot about cults because she was in one. So, I don't know. It just kind of clicks a little bit. Can, can we ask how you got both? How you acquired both of them? Yeah, but that'll count as two questions. Okay. Um, sure. How about, Dylan, pick one to ask about the origin oh, story of. Okay. How'd you get the tooth? I got the tooth when I was in uh, Utah in the um, Salt Lake City Basin. Um, I went out with my partners on a little trip, and uh, we had, like, a part where we went to this little park, and they said, oh, you can go look at rocks. Sometimes you will find a fossil. And I found a fossilized Diplodocus tooth. And it was super cool. Okay. So the thing that's getting me is I know Demon Mama's smart. And I know she wouldn't just go like, uh, and uh, every single time. And like make it. I'm looking at the way she's moving and making it like trying to. I'm coming up with it on the spot here. Really, really thinking about it. So I'm, I'm leaning towards Heaven's Gate pretty hard right now. And again, there's a background with the cult stuff. I'm thinking Heaven's Gate. Maybe. Lincoln's you still have you still have uh, two more questions though. Carlos, okay. can, can we can we wait, Carlos? Can we just can we just go for it and be like ask two two random questions and just go for it? Just act like Chad's here. You're, can we, you're that confident in this answer? I'm, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> I'm pretty confident in it. Wow, power player. I'm, can, um, can that's, we a do that? that's a high level idea. Can I, can, can I do that, Carlos? I'm asking your permission. If you don't want to, I won't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have my consent. Let's crush this thing. Demon Mama, uh, how big is your pinky toe? It's smashed up because I broke it. That's more evidence. That's more evidence. <laughs> she dropped the foundation onto her pinky toe. And uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is cosmic purple. Okay. Heaven's Gate, final answer. Beautiful. All right. That's the uh, the question. Was, was it true or was it not? Oh, oh now I got to an answer? Well, yeah, you have to reveal Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Heaven's truth. Gate one was correct. Yes. Wow. What a flash. I, do you want me to well, show done, it well off? Done. I can actually show it to you. Of course. Yeah, yeah, let me grab it. 
Yeah, do it. Do it. Do you have it? Easy. That was that was a, that was a safe assumption. That was a safe. Wow, that was a power move. That was a power move. Incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, so I, I've dropped. This might look like I've, a boring rock. This might just look like a boring piece of concrete, but this was indeed a piece of the foundation of the mansion where the Heaven's Gate cult did their mass suicide. So, yep. Wow. Got it myself. Wow. Yep. Wow. Cool. All right, Carlos Maza, let's go on to you. One fact, uh, one lie. It's true. I'll, I've told okay. the story before. Um, I'll tell it again sometime. I, I met my first boyfriend uh, because uh, at a debate tournament in college, I successfully argued that um, homophobic violence was uh, a, an okay thing that we should not intervene to stop it. And that's why I met my first boyfriend. Uh, and the second one very is that middle. I once had to six, bail six, out of six. a marathon that I had trained very hard for because I had to start using the bathroom and then I could not stop using the bathroom. So I had to stop running after months of training. I hope the first one is true. That's so adorable. <laughs> All right, take it away, Demon You don't Jangles. think the crapping my pants thing is adorable? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna shame anyone here. <laughs> I thought it was very endearing. Jangles, you can ask the first question. My first question is, was your pickup line after that debate tournament uh, so you were arguing in favor that like homophobic violence, we should step away, right? Yeah, I was. I was arguing that it was a, a just a part of life, and that we should a, a, adopt a Taoist, non-attached approach to intervening in violence, and just kind of observe life for what it is and not feeling about it. Okay, so was your pickup line, and this is my question. I'm not throwing this out there. Was your pickup line? So I better keep you safe, baby. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. No. You want to know why? Because. I didn't do the picking up. I was picked up. So I don't have to have a line. I just responded to the other person's line. Ooh. Mm, I like this story. <laughs> okay, uh, here's a question. Uh, what was your first boyfriend's name? Connor. Okay. I mm -hmm. thought that. I thought that. So is that is that there. is that a full three? Is that a full three? Wait, was that? No, we had one more, right? You have one more oh yeah, you have one more. Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just testing you. Wanted to make sure that you're all lively and, and, and aware. All right, so what caused the stomach problems? I went to a really nice pasta restaurant in DC when I still lived there the night before, and there was like a, a seven course try every pasta platter option, and I got it thinking I'm gonna need the carbs. And though I did need the carbs, I did not need every type of sauce all at once inside of my stomach. And and that is a, um, a painful and agonizing lesson to learn 14 miles into a marathon in the middle of DC's slash Virginia's outskirts. Okay, the, the uh, okay, Demon Mama, are you, how confident are you? Because I'm pretty confident. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting the pasta, to be completely honest. This pasta is, oh, uh, is, no. is sus, personally. Okay, so we're, we're going to have to have a mini debate between me and Demon Mama here. Okay. Because eating seven plates of pasta, like, the night before a, a marathon, that sounds like the kind of shit a marathon runner would try to do. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, you do know more about fitness than I do. I am an unfit um, schlub. Let's put it that way. Um, so I would guess you might know, you might be able to tell whether that sort of pasta combination could do damage to that level. But see, it is, it is so categorically, unbelievably characteristic in my opinion of, of Carlos that that it would be a, a debate over homophobic violence that would result in the first boyfriend like that just seems so that's so unique and on point and on brand that I can't help but feel that that's the truth so are we going to answer what we want to be true because I'm okay with that like what we want in our hearts yeah like, if we I mean, can will this to be true it might be true mm, damn yeah, now see now now maybe maybe I'm being maybe I am being uh swooned by a good story, you know? It's possible. Yeah. I think you're playing yourselves right now. Do you now, want to but... follow your brain <laughs> or your heart? Well, my brain says that pasta can't give you like even a lot of pasta unless it's tainted won't give you uh, like violent shits, but I could be wrong. <laughs> see, I know for a fact cuz I've done something similar. Uh in for a not a, for a pretty, pretty similar event and absolutely it can give you every shit. Every shit you've ever had, all the consistencies, all the volumes, you will have all of them at once. Except, except, I wait love a my job. Here, let me just offer one last observation. Carlos right now was just like nodding along with that. And that makes me think he wants us to think that it's the pasta. 
Would that now? And I would don't I... know. Listen, how mm. do you just pull a story about about meeting your first boyfriend after putting an argument that you shouldn't? Like, come on, is that really fictionable? That's so strange. It can't be fiction. All right. So I, I want to. You know what? I want to. I want to leave it up to you. Brain or heart, Diva Mama? You decide. Oh, you've put me in a position because if I say brain right, if I say heart right now, then everyone in the audience is going to go, "Oh, of course, the woman goes with her heart." So now I have a, now I have no choice except to become a walking living stereotype before this large audience or say brain. What a position I've been put in as always. Facts don't care about your feelings. Facts yeah, don't care about you your know feelings. What? Facts don't care about my feelings, but my feelings also don't care about the facts. So I'm going, I'm guessing the boyfriend all right, so Carlos. Story? You're saying that's the real story? Final answer? The true story is that I met my boyfriend after arguing that homophobic violence is no big deal. Yes! I fucking I, called I have it! To very... That is too gay to be false! <laughs> <laughs> I have gotten close to pooping my pants during a marathon, but I have not actually pooped my pants during a marathon. I'm, I'm, I got an iron stomach. You see, that gotta, was the true big you. brain idea, get, leaving it up to Demon Mama. Well, that and also, I totally believed you when you were talking about the pastas, the multiple pastas and the sauces. I was like, oh, this I, is this I, is very I did eat spin. a seven course pasta meal the night before a marathon, and I just didn't poop because of it. I just, I just but I did eat See, that. See, that pasta was what I was before. thinking. Pasta plugs you up, it's seafood that makes you die from the shits. Mmm. <laughs> Well, this is really exciting because we have a tie game. We're going to you, Dylan Burns, for the tiebreaker right now. Let's hear it. Actually, no, okay. sorry. We're going to you, Jangles. I, I, I'm already reversing the order. Uh, Jangles, we're going to you for the tiebreaker. One truthful fact about yourself and one lie. Okay, so I, I, I'm just, I love this, by the way. I gotta be this honest, is amazing. Kinda, uh, I'm having so much fun. Might have intentionally misunderstood um, the itinerary you set up for us because I only have true facts. Like two true facts about myself. The first one I didn't want to admit, but you kind of forced my hand. So I have to reveal a fact about myself that, you know, I might I might have told you in confidence, but you decided to make it part of your promotional material for this event. So I guess we're talking about it. Yes, everyone, I am a furry. And yes, my fursona's name is Jangles Science Lab. He's a golden laboratory retriever. And he is into... Well, you didn't say how much of the truth we had to reveal. But, so, it's out there. Yep, I'm a furry. Um, thanks a lot for that, Lance. Bro. Mm-hmm. So, I guess, and the second true fact that originally was going to be my true fact is that I'm a former competitive power lifter, so I had to kind of retire because my back kept snapping in half when I uh, got close to a 500-pound deadlift. But the interesting part is... <laughs> Actually trained a world record power hold, uh, a world record holder, uh, in his age and weight uh, class. So I was also so oh, I was a competitive so cool. power lifter. I, and I coached competitive power lifters. One of which Anna, Chris. holds Thank a you. world record. The last time I checked, in both the total and in all three uh, lifts. So is this why you posted this image? The be gay, be dog, do debate. Well, yeah. I mean, that is my persona. He is dog. He is gay. He is dog, and he does debate. Hmm. I so, don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Because so that's hard. Because great, my Sephira. my content is like okay. Is he posted that to like divert us away from the other one. Plus, he corrected himself in the powerlifting story, which makes me think he was trying to get it straight. Because if there, he could have just like kept kept going if it was like a, a lie. Because then it would. Right at the rules but he had to correct himself to be, to be accurate on the powerlifting story because if he if he lies while selling it then he's technically broken the rules so i'm leaning towards powerlifting story but we should obviously ask questions so um um uh, when did you become a furry uh in 1994 when i was four years old it was the scene in the lion king so it was the very first movie i saw in theater so i was four years old and it was the scene uh where simba First comes up to you, all grown up in the middle of Huna Makana, and you hear Matthew Broderick uh, sing, "It means no worries." And then not only did that turn me gay, it turned me into a furry. <laughs> so the thing is, this is way too specific. 1994, knowing the exact he prepared this beforehand. He really wanted to make sure he got his story straight. Kovu. Right? This is a hardened Deception. criminal. In another in another life, Disgrace. this individual would be would be doing drive-by shootings, 100. percent So, so you want to ask a question, Carlos? 
I mean, I will say as a counterpoint, Simba singing that part of the song did also make me gay. So it's not unbelievable mm. that that would be a turning point <laughs> for someone because even remembering it, I am getting heated thinking about it. Um, I guess my I question would be, could so you, much. you know, the show is so like good. demonstrate for us now some- uh, It's for a, fun, a Max. This is what like a fun thing by you and powerlifting might look like. Um, sure. Keep your back straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, just two. <laughs> Fire fun. <laughs> oh, Jangle. Oh, this is okay. a tough one. This is a tough one. Okay, we got one more question, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. One more. He showed foot. Dylan, it's you. Okay. You Give me a second. What's the name of the person who taught you about powerlifting? Who taught you originally? Oh, no. No one person. Just uh, an amalgamation of uh, big, thick boys on the internet. Mm. Why, yeah, why do you think I got into powerlifting? That seems like a much better answer than if you would have just said a random name, honestly. Because, of, yeah, that sounds like better. Because I feel like in the modern age, a lot more people are learning just stuff off the internet, right? I, I would love yeah. to, Ice Beans. This is great. This is very, uh... This is a very sexy choice you have to decide here. Both of them are, are very appealing in their own ways, and I feel very overwhelmed right now. Big, big, thick boys or big, thick Simba in the in the jungle? I think I'm going to lead towards the powerlifting, personally. Yeah, I guess. I guess the powerlifting thing seems more true. But to me, to me, they are both true in, in the broader royal sense. They're both in spirit. True. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna. I'm throwing it behind. The powerlifting. Final answer. Final answer. Powerlifting is gonna be the final answer. Yep. All right. Okay. It all comes down to this. Did any of you dumb people in chat think I was a furry? I'm a scaly through and through. All right, powerlifting chores the real one. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Carlos Burns oh now takes God, the lead. We yes. are 100 to 50 points. This could be your chance to become tied again. Here we go, Dylan Burns. One truthful fact about yourself and one lie. So you know everybody knows I'm involved in politics and, and local political activism and and, and the foreign policy uh, sphere. And so here's the two just 100% true things. Honestly, like I guess you got to give them the points automatically since they're both true. But the first thing is when John Bolton came to uh, the University of Maryland to speak. I heckled him and called him a cuck and was thrown out. Uh, the second thing <laughs> is that I have ties to people involved in the Iran-Contra scandal. Good luck. Mm, okay. Oh, I want to ask questions now. God damn, <laughs> these are good. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> nowhere in the rules have you specified that you can't. I mean, that doesn't count as one of our questions. So, I mean, it would it would be too unfair. I would I would be adding adding to the plot. I have to stay I have to stay neutral, or this show falls apart immediately. I mean, people won't take okay. it seriously, and then what will happen? Okay, I, I could I could cheat and look up to see if you, Bolden uh, did speak at the University of Maryland, but that is one hundred percent on brand for, uh, behavior for you. So yeah, screaming you're a cock, and then like immediately <laughs> getting escorted out. I feel like that's like. That's like that's like one of the key ingredients. It's like a quarter cup of that and like a, a quarter cup of like three other things, and that makes Dylan Burns. That event right there. So, uh, hmm. that wasn't a question. Wait a minute. Did you uh, randomly shout the question? Uh, did you randomly shout it out, or did you uh, wait for a Q and A panel? I waited until he had a segment on the Korea, and then he said some really dumb shit about preemptive strikes, and then I called him a cuck. Okay. Hmm. When did this happen? This happened about three years ago. It was right after he left the Trump administration, so he was doing his like book tour. Just a little baby One Dylan Burns. Okay. That didn't happen three years ago. His book about, was like, yeah, you're right. It was two, actually. Yeah. Uh oh. Listen, I that doesn't count I as a question. I think I know the answer to this one. Okay. You still have one more question, though. Yeah, I want to be clear. Let's see. 
is the person that you have ties to in the Iran Contra uh, deal Democrat or Republican? Democrat. That's the true one. Yep, that's the true one. That's the true one. Yep. Wait, just like that? Oh, whoa! No, no final answer. No, <laughs> nothing. All right. Yeah, ooh, all right. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Well, hey, well done. Bravo. The game is in a perfectly tied 100 Called points it. for each team. So we're going to have to kick things up a notch in round two, which is going to be starting right now. This this round is called Devil's Advocate. And here's how it's going to be played out. Each team is going to decide when I ask them whether they take the positive or the negative in a debate topic, at which point you are going to debate for about a couple minutes. And then the audience will vote on who won the debate. Now, rest assured, some of these topics were not things you want to be on the positive or the negative side of, okay? In previous uh, high-level ideas, we've had uh, the moon landing being fake, flat earth theory, stuff like that. So if you say, yes, I will be on the positive side of this, you will have to defend flat earth theory. So that's how this is going to work, all right? Since the teams are tied, I'm going to use a random number generator to determine who goes first. It is Carlos Burns. Carlos Burns, would you too like to be on the positive or the negative of the following debate? Can we get to pick without knowing what the topic is? That's the whole point of the game. Oh man. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go for positive. I wanna be I wanna yeah. be bold, okay? I wanna be bold and brash. Okay. Carlos Burns is saying police should have guns. Police should have guns, and Demon Jangles is debating police should not have firearms anymore. Police should not have firearms. Uh, you have now entered the debate zone. Begin. Do we really, Carlos? Man, can't it's wait to see. A, how it's a hot it. take, but it's one that I can defend. Here's here's my argument. People will never agree to abolish weapons so long as they view themselves as the primary gun holders. The only way to convince them that guns are a nuisance that should be abolished is by putting them in the hands of absolute monsters who are trained to be monstrous and then use them on civilians willy-nilly until we become convinced the entire situation is unsustainable. No one wants to imagine I, the free-thinking rebel who defies the state, could misuse a gun. But if you tell them these monstrous pigs who are trained to use guns on us will have them, you might be open to the idea that, yeah, actually these things could fall into the wrong hands and we should abolish them completely. See, I don't know how you could say something like that because when you give police guns, it takes away from what should be a key part of their training. Oh, you have a gun, uh, a symbol of death that you can just point at someone and end their life? No, that what where training should go is real police work, which is learning how to use a sword and how to kill a man with one punch without touching him. Okay, <laughs> that's where our budget should be centered, and I cannot believe that, that you would take this position. Yeah. So listen, what? I well, all I'm gonna say is that listen. On your computer, when you go on your computer and you go to delete a file, the computer says, are you sure? Yes. No. That's because we wouldn't give lethal power to our own computer knowing how easily we fuck up. Why on earth would we give it to a bunch of underqualified cops? Come on. There's no reason to be having a gun. We don't give ourselves an instant delete button. We shouldn't give, give cops an instant delete button. Okay, so number one, Libcuck, we do. It's called the Second Amendment, you unpatriotic socialist. That's the first thing. Second thing is, I understand that Democrats are pro-MS-13, but you don't need to make it so unbelievably obvious that you're on the sides of the gangs, okay? So what we're going to say is that everyday Americans and these terrorists on our streets can go around with firearms and their, and their evil, evil... An ideology and Rachel Maddow led MS-13 and bring their crime under our streets and fire at our boys in blue. But you hate the blue line so much that you're going to take away their ability to defend themselves and send those those wonderful men and women home in coffins. That's terrible. Absolutely you're right, terrible. Dylan. You're, you're right. right. I do hate the thin blue line. I hate what it represents. I hate that it represents the idea that you can put yourself between quote unquote civilized humans and uncivilized humans. I hate that. And that is why I don't support cops having guns. You want to know civilized humans. No, it's really funny. <laughs> it, it's really funny that you come in here like this because do you want to know what the nickname for the police is? You know that's used worldwide? Do you know? Do you know? 
No, Patriot. you don't. You're you're too busy thinking about how they're the ubermensch watching over all of the sheep of this society. And there it is. The left that they are called. You to you everyone, know, but for everyone listening, the, 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 the chat can now vote. The, you can vote in the chat. Gang. Which the team was the biggest gang? gang. You want to defeat Nazi. gangs? You got to take oh guns from the biggest gang of all. Look, the thing is, I understand that you're like, oh my gosh, am I wrong? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Taking away the protection from these men and women because they're Dylan Burns wants to. Arm what? the biggest what? gang of what? all. Interrupting, up, up, interrupting me, interrupting oh, me, just like you do oh. Rob Moore constantly. Interrupting Rob Moore, I interrupting me, a statement. fellow patriot, okay? So the thing is, I understand it. The civilization argument. Civilization. Are we talking about the civilization that they fight to hold and protect? I want to protect my fucking Waffle House, and it's not going to be burnt down by evil rioters funded by Rachel Maddow, Maxine Waters, and the rest of them. And you are not going to burn them down. Those cops will do what's patriotic and defend my Cracker Barrel. All right, okay. this is this All is right. some hey, fucking everybody. knockoff Judge Dredd bullshit <laughs> everybody, right everybody, here. Everybody, 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 the votes are in. The votes are in. Everyone, stop, stop, stop. The winner of that debate, according to the people, Goes to Carlos Burns. Carlos Burns, congratulations, you won. You won Wonderful. that round. Okay. I hope you know what you won you've that done, round. We now go. We now go to team. <laughs> we go to team Demon Jangles. I would like you to tell me. Would you like to pick the positive or the negative on the following? I'm feeling. Topic? I'm feeling pretty angry right now, so I'm, I'm thinking negative. Yeah. I'm I think that's going to give me more I'm feeling fire. Pretty negative yeah. too. Yeah. All righty. You are now debating. That Canada is not real. You are debating that Canada is not real. Take it away. So not the double, not not a negative of, of that negative, which would be that Canada is real. Yes. You have to debate okay. that Canada is not real. Oh, obviously. Have you ever met anybody? The answer is no. Like people think they're from Canada, but really they're just from North North America. Right? It's a fictionalized country that we uh, made up to confuse Europeans when we don't want to like own up to all the shit that we've done overseas all right we invented Canada uh, and we even gave it a little like personality like do you really fucking think that if a real country existed they would make a flag and put a fucking leaf on, on it screen. where is the power behind that you They're see the American flag 50 stars would, 13 uh, stripes it has power it has symbolism what the fuck does the Canada flag symbolize it's a leaf all right it's to let people who are in on the joke know that it's a joke you know like uh, like some sort of whistle for, for for dogs or something like that all right we created canada to obfuscate all of the bullshit that we've done so we can go over to euro disney and ride the rides without being hassled about like uh, how we're destroying the global economy and we're playing world police fuck that i just want to ride the rides and so i'm from uh canada uh and then you find like a, a leaf out of your pocket and you said and you like paste it to a sheet of paper and no one pays attention because they're Europeans and so you just say yeah this is the country that I'm from this is the flag I can't believe that anyone would question this and and here's the other thing the other part of this is um you know I I, I appreciate the passion with which uh, Jangles has approached this issue because you know my approach is very different I um I once um dated someone who claimed to be from Canada and the further I looked into their past the more I realized that that was not true these documents did not exist and I also grew up in New England. And so one time after dating this person, I decided to go see if Canada existed for myself. And as it turns out, it does not. It was just an extension of Maine all along. Okay. Can I argue? I think we can all agree on the base fact that there is no physical place in the world that's called Canada. But Canada is more than a place. It's an idea. It's a vibe. <laughs> and those vibes and ideas are real, even if they do not manifest in physical space. It's like... The American dream or the free market, an idea with enough believers becomes real in the minds of people. And as an American who often dreams about escaping this hell place and moving to this magical, Always has surreal, been. fantastical place called Canada, that place, that idea, that vibe is real for me, whether I can visit it or not. I disavow all of you. <laughs> the fact that none of you would recognize the northern beast this threat to our American way of life from the outset is disgusting and shows you don't care about our national security. The Canadians have been working for a very long time to destroy the youth of this country. 
They send their people over like Justin Bieber to feminize our youth. And now you see femboys everywhere. What a surprise that right when the Canadians are sending the I, I, feminine Dylan, dating Dylan, I'm going to have to stop you right there. Here, the idea that, that they, excuse Bill me, Gates, this is outrageous. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. You are going, you're trying to say that American, are, you're trying to say that American bred and femboys are from Canada? What the they're, fuck? That they're is an insult. That is an insult. They are indoctrinating our youth to make you are blooded femboys. American femboys. You, you I am femboy so offended. Femboy also, by the way, hold on a second. Do you, want to know how, do you want to know how Dylan's wrong? Do you want to know how Dylan's wrong, everybody? And ask yourselves this. Do you think that Canada could plot anything against the United States without accidentally apologizing to our own intelligence services if they existed. Well, they don't, and they haven't apologized, so there's obviously not a threat from Canada. Wow. Anyway, I, 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 have, I have a question. this sort of insult the, against the, American the, I have a question. The, amount of the little depth she has in foreign policy knowledge, everyone knows mm. that the apologetic Canadian will stab you in the back faster than anyone else. It Arms is a steal or right. It is over here, right. lying again. This is just Oh, Demons are playing in. into Canadian bigotry that they're all like apologetic, and I mean this is terrible. I'm, the left is the real bigots, and, and they Dylan, just Dylan, Dylan, may I ask you a question? Agreed that Canada is just an idea, and the idea Dylan. of Canada, well, if yeah, it is real, they, if it is as real as the free market, the idea of Canada. Dylan, may I ask you a question? Uh, sure. So you you host uh some sort of panel show, correct? Yes, I do. On this panel show, do you allow dangerous and false conspiracy theories to fester? in the arguments posed by your panelists. True. Of course, I like money. Mm, I don't think you do. I think uh, I think you're responsible. Like you kick, no, you kick people off. No, we you know. We, you kick people off who uh, spout dangerous conspiracy theories. Can you tell us the reason that you kicked off one Joseph Lehman from your panel last week? Because I found out he was a Canadian infiltrator moving into <laughs> this country to fucking feminize our youth and take away the great patriotic future we're supposed to have here. OK, mm -hmm. that is some Democrat, lefty, socialist, communist bullshit. OK, look, all, all I know is that the warriors like Sargon of Akkad, who are going to protect America's youth. He's a great American patriot, I, I assume. And you know what? He, I rest my case. Listen, listen, I and I have one last thing to add. I have one last thing to add on this. As right, a this, member, will last, this will be the last. The final thought. That's, that's the final fine, thought. Demon moment. Take it away. Thank you. As a member of the trans agenda. I can assure you that I have been doing my fair share of feminizing here in America, homegrown. We don't need Canada for that. I have plenty of estrogen here, okay? We thank you for your service. We thank you for your service. All right. All right. The people have spoken. The votes are in. The winner of the question, is Canada real? Demon Jangles. Congratulations. Yes! Well done. Well played. Yes! Well played. Excellent job. True. The game is once again tied at 200 points apiece. So this is going to be a tiebreaker round. Carlos Burns, would you like to be on the positive or the negative side of this debate topic? Um, I say we go for positive. I say yeah, I think I, we're I think we're on a good affirmative rule here. Yeah. All right. You are debating that Biden is Trump in a body switch. Biden is actually Trump. Oh, I got this in a one. Body switch. I got this. Begin. So I mean, it's it's pretty fucking obvious. If you look at the frills of the flag, it's it's like at the Navy flag, which if you know, the military is not currently respecting the commander in chief uh, when it comes to like the Biden image, but they're still coordinating with him to carry out presidential actions. You'll see they'll turn their back to them, and you, and you never really see Biden in the presidential copter or the presidential plane. And the reason why is they're trying to. Trump, of course, being the troll in mega Chad that he is, he is allowing Biden's image to be tarnished while continuing to protect this country. Do you – would you say that Trump has an ego? Of course, because he's well, a Chad. Yeah, he's, he's very much of a Chad. And if you had that thick of an I got ass, this. Watch this. Even for, if it was for national security, would you squeeze yourself into a bodysuit to reduce the size he's of that thick up. ass, which is your best feature? Do you think what? that Trump's ego would allow that? Trump, well, Trump's, is... Trump's dumpy Trumpy, as they called him, dump truck Trump. And and you think that you could hide that? Not even a matter of would you. For you, you can't. to go Impossible. after the trauma. 
that Trump has faced from after getting banned on Twitter and all these social media websites, the fact that he has to hide his his beautiful rear from the world, and for you to go after the trauma he is experiencing, excuse his me, lived experience. Excuse me, don't that's, that's, you dare. You are you are taking you are taking terrible. big ass valor right now. As the possessor of a massive dump truck ass, all I can say is that you cannot hide that. You can never hide it. Everyone is always saying, Jesus fucking Christ, your I... ass is so fat. How do you deal with it? And I say, I don't know. I can't. I can't hide it. I can never sleep for I the, understand. the size of my amazing ass. I understand that for you, it's easy to, to push your lived experiences onto other people, but Trump has been has been ridiculed for that dump truck for the longest time. I know, time. I know, and after. you can't and hide so he, And the fact that you would accuse now, him of hiding what, you know, what is, is his beautiful, fact, natural fact, features uh, is ridiculous and disgusting. Gish galloping. Gish, the left oh, one yes, again. gish galloping. The simple, the, the simple call. Oh my gosh, she cannot let me speak because she knows I'm speaking the truth. Truth to power. Really. I'm just passionate uh, about big ass people getting we were, treated poorly in this, this country by people like you who accuse they're hiding in a skin suit. He has been he has been attacked. He has been gone after. He is the socialist revolutionary we've been waiting for, Donald Trump. He's gonna take on big tech uh because he is a socialist revolutionary that is we've been Carlos waiting Maza, for. Yes. And he is simply doing what is necessary for this country. He's making sacrifices. If you to deny that he's making the sacrifice of not being able to hear the clap of his cheeks when he walks through the community for you to deny that he's making that sacrifice takes away how much he's gone through for americans like like all of us here that, that's terrible can i just say something about big asses uh <laughs> as as an aficionado of drag and high performance art i know that the only thing more impressive than a big ass is a reveal into a big ass. And I think Trump being the master propagandist that he is, realized that after four years, we were getting spoiled. We were getting used to the sight of his big, beautiful, life-changing ass. And what do you do with an audience that has come to expect and almost be bored by your big ass? You take it away. You make them miss it. You make the heart fonder by denying them that sweet ass for as long as you can. And how are do you, you feel saying right that? Now? Don't you miss it? Are you saying that in our time of need, after an election was stolen, after the country is in turmoil, right, after everything, thought. after everything that has gone wrong with our country, that Trump, the patriot that he is, would take away the one thing that could unify us all, the one thing that could give us hope, the one thing we could look up to, and all its round glory, he would take that away from us. And you call him a patriot. You say he loves us. I think that is a lie, sir. But don't get right. rights. <laughs> everyone, everyone. First off, before I reveal who won that round, I, I want to say I did not did not see it going down the road it did, but uh, I think we're all better for it. I think we're all better for it. The people have spoken. The votes are in. The winner of the ass debate, question mark, uh, is Demon Jangles. Congratulations. Yeah! Well done. Well done. Well done. That was, uh, that was quite, yes. quite fantastic. The truth will and, come out. And it's also, it's also your turn, Demon Jangles, to pick for the final... The final of round two of the debates. Are you going to be for the positive or the negative? I'm feeling you positive. You know, we've alternated, personally. and yeah, I was like, we've alternated. I mean, this is a gay panel. We don't, we don't want to go with opposites. All right, we're going to go positive again. Mm -hmm. Positive. Yep. Okay. Yep. The final debate topic that you were debating: lizard people secretly control the world. Lizard people secretly control the world. Take it away. Well, as a self-admitted scaly, I hate that we have to remain in the closet i hate that our enormous and our, our thick scaly asses must control the world and help the world make the world a better place i hate that we have to do it in secret so if the answer is like yes obviously we control the world i mean i mean can you i mean look at me and, ima and imagine when i take off my human scoot you see you see my true form the scaly form with uh my arms get bigger i get the rippling pecs and i get that thick lizard ass and obviously it comes with a, a thick lizard tail i wish that we didn't have to hide and isn't that what we're about here all right we're for social justice we if you are the lizard people who again just love the entire world and want us to come together we need to be able to come out of our shells our eggshells if you will and reveal to the world that we have <laughs> loved you from the moment that we set foot on this planet 873 years ago exactly not a moment sooner or later so i just i uh, can we it, it, on this topic just come together and, and love yeah and i have another piece of supporting evidence a, a so for, well, for for members of the chat who are listening in right now i have a simple simple question do you know do you know what lizards eat i bet you do they eat fruit lizards love fruit and if you look at the uh the 
food pyramid, you will notice that food that fruit is is conveniently one of the most required food types in America. And America uses the food pyramid to decide what we subsidize, what we grow, what we import. Why would we need to import so much fruit? We know that historically nobody ate fruit. Pirates didn't eat fruit. We know that. We know nobody through history liked fruit. Fruit kind of sucks, but you know what? Sometimes it's good. And guess what? Here we are having our strings pulled by the lizard people who are forcing us to import lots of fruit, who waged wars in South America over fruit because they like fruit. We don't, well, humans don't need that much fruit. We must be being controlled by lizards. That is the only reason that fruit would have such an so, overrepresentation in the food pyramid their, and why we would need to import so much of it. Their argument wouldn't stand up to the basic amount of criticism. I would like to turn us all to the 2020 presidential election, the vice presidential debate specifically. Kamala Harris and Mike Pence went head to head. These two people would, of course, be considered class two uh, lizard people under, under the current uh, uh, conspiracy that is being pushed. Do we even remember what happened in that debate? A, a, a memorable moment. A fly. fly landed on the head of Mike Pence and no tongue came out to grab oh, it. The shit. fact that a fly would land on the head of Mike Pence and his lizard skin when he wouldn't just crawl and immediately go for that lovely snack is proof. Your and this is not more than a it's frogs that do this is more, that. It's frogs more, that do that. This is nothing, this is nothing more. That's frogs that do that. This is, nothing, this is nothing more than a deviation from the truth that were really controlled by the adrenochrome drinking Swiss. That isn't a real flag, it's a fucking plus sign. You stole it from the Red Cross, it's the Swiss. They took the gold from the Nazis and used it to build a global empire, okay? That's the real truth. These two are working with the Swiss no, to this. undermine the patriotic Mike Pence, who would never be a lizard person. Nothing more but preposterous. Preposterous. We, we gave you. We gave you your global love. society. We gave you the Im immense riches that you've had in the past. We gave what? you the PlayStation 5. We gave you Harry Styles. And after all of that, us the you drip. confused us with frogs? Oh, I yeah. Think. Oh, I know. Wait, Wait, still you know what? Maybe we won't. Like the world world have a You're telling me the lizard people were so, are all these all powerful people and they gave us the PlayStation 5s, but couldn't give enough so he wouldn't get fucking scalped? If the lizard people are in control, they fucking suck. That is, you know, they, maybe they, we won't be controlling things for very much longer. Oh, oh, hold on just a second here. I want to let, I want to let, Car I want to let Carlos in to futilely argue against this position before I seal it off because I got, I've got the final say on wait, all this, you, I know. You, wait, wait, how do you get the final say? You open up and no, also no, get the just, final you, say. You'll see, you'll see. Lizard. No one no, no, will be no, able to contest no. it, but I want to give Carlos a fair turn, so go ahead. Look, I would love it if the lizard people were in control. Quite frankly, that sounds like a vacation from where, where we are now, but I don't know if you've looked around lately, no one's in control of this goddamn ship. We got global warming, India, Pakistan, people fire, about to fire off nukes. You seriously think anybody is managing the global economy, much less any part of global governance right now, we are on our own on a rock that's floating through space with no God right now. And the best evidence you have of lizard control is the food pyramid. You are a low ranking employee at the FCA. That is not control. You are a bureaucrat on a ship that is already sinking, baby. And the lizards are out there that should come help us right now, but they're obviously asleep on the job. Two problems. One, nobody ever said the lizards did a good job, just that they are in control. Lizards are notoriously forgetful, and that's all right. They're not so great with logistics. They, they're not so good with shipping. However, I want to point out the undeniable fact that not only not, – this is how much control they actually have. In fact, it might even be that, that Lance himself – is a lizard person because guess what what do i look at first we talk about the fruits on the pier on the fucking py uh, pyramid and guess what now i look at this panel and what do we have all fruit we're all fruit it's a fruity panel it's they're pulling our <laughs> strings right now you know what mm. Mate, what if lance was a lizard person and after you've treated me your fellow your teammate in this <laughs> I don't even know if I'm wait, wait, wait. If, if Lance is a lizard person, it doesn't match up because oh, you just said that lizards suck. This at is schedule. gonna be the final thought. They, the final they thought. suck at all this stuff. Yet somehow he was able to get one of the smartest profess economic professors in the world to sit down with a fucking Twitch streamer, and you're telling me that lizards are terrible at scheduling? How the fuck would he pull That's that off? Because lizards look out for other lizards. Final word. 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 The results are already in. The results are already in. All right. The lizard debate goes to Carlos Burns. Congratulations. No! Save it, David, it was all the lizard hate. The people have voted. I wasn't hating. I was telling voted. the truth.
you disproved the lizard theory. Congratulations. This uh, this is incredible. You you have been tied like tying and breaking ties this entire game. We're 300 to 300. We're going now to the final round. This is it. This is it. All right, everybody. We're going to go to round three. Test your might. Brain might, that is. Uh, this is going to be a, a series of increasingly difficult questions. You're going to have to flex all of your IQs. I know a few of you are above 9,000. That's good. Good. Well done. Well done. We got our calipers ready. We're going to measure your skulls and find out. So I'm going to randomly call upon you. And by randomly, I mean in the order in which you're presented on the screen right now. And ask you a series of difficult questions. Here's how this works. If you can answer it, you get the first draw. However, you can also steal afterwards other team, but do so at your own peril. All right? You will lose points if you steal and get the answer wrong. Understand that, all right? So first, I'm going to ask Carlos Maza. Carlos Maza, I'm going to ask you a question. If you don't know it, that's fine. You don't have to answer. And if you answer it wrong, you will not lose points. However, after you say no or get it wrong, the other team can choose if they want to steal it. That'll be up to them. If they're if they're feeling gambly tonight, and please be uh, honorable, everyone. Don't go on the internet because the answers to all these would be easily Googleable and in probably one one quick search. Okay. I can't. Carlos. I can't tap in, Dylan. Uh, no, not for this. Cool. No. Cool. 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 All right. You you we now where we go one we go all is over. All right. You you live and die by the sword. Oh, okay. We're 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 libertarians. All Let's right. Let's do this. Carlos Maza, who spearheaded the anti-drug Just Say No campaign? Who spearheaded the anti-drug Just Say No campaign? Scroft McGrath. Shaka Khan. Incorrect. Other team, would you like to steal it? I would like to steal it. Wait, wait, we do, wait, wait, right. wait. Sorry, sorry. Can I clarify on the rules real quick? Wait, do we, you said we get penalized if we steal and get it wrong? If you steal and get it wrong, you'll lose 25 points. Oh. But you have a, an opportunity to win 50 points right now. So that's that's up to you. Do I steal it? If you know it, I would. Why I'm not? a good boy. I, d I don't know about Do I steal it? I can't steal it. Wait, yes, I can. I'm stealing it. I'm stealing it. I know this answer. Okay, I'm 100% sure of oh. this answer. Scruff here we McGruff. Go. Scruff McGruff. Officer Scruff McGruff. It was Officer Scruff McGruff. Yeah, yeah no, no, that was what I was going to say. Incorrect. The answer is Nancy Reagan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. Who's that? That's a made-up person. I don't believe that person's real. <laughs> I thought that was her nickname. <laughs> Moving on to you, Dylan Burns. The question B. What is the best-selling home computer of all time? What is the best-selling home computer of all time? Famicom. Oh, God. Famicom. Uh, I'm not a tech it's guy. It's Famicom. It's either the yeah, it's either I'm the Commodore or the Famicom. I'm pretty sure it's the, the Famicom. PSP, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna let the question go by. Well, you won't lose anything if you get it wrong, yep. so you can you can just Wait, guess. I won't lose anything I if I get it wrong. Famicom. I thought I was. No. Oh, for steel. Okay. No, that's only if you steal. Um, only if you steal. The, 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 Is it the Apple II? It might be the Apple II. Uh, Apple Home Computer. All right, that is incorrect. I'm sorry. Wow. Other team, would either of you try to steal it or like to steal it? Wait, could I clarify which Apple? It does not matter. Okay, got it. Do do gaming consoles count as home computers? They some of them do. Okay, I think I know what this is. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess at this one. Is it the Famicom? Uh, that unfortunately is incorrect. The answer Did is the, the Nintendo Commodore. Wii. No. <laughs> Don't worry. You, you'll only lose twenty five. You'll only lose twenty five points. But the answer is the Commodore sixty four. The Commodore 64, oh. everyone. But don't worry, wow. don't worry. You now have an opportunity to climb Wait, back out of thing? the depths, Demon Mama. It's up to you. And you are now 50 points behind. What Nintendo game first featured Mario? What Nintendo game first featured Mario? Where did Mario make his debut? It was in uh, Donkey Kong. Correct. Congratulations. It's the first right answer. The game is tied again. Jangles, science lab. Which animal has the highest blood pressure? Of all animals in the animal kingdom, which animal has the oh, highest I blood pressure? I know this one. I know this one. I know this one. Me at any given moment. <laughs> Incorrect. Carlos Burns, would you like to steal it? I know this one. Um, I know this one. No, I don't want to steal that shit. I'm fucking <laughs> no idea. Can I be, not even name an animal right now? 
<laughs> that's too bad because the final speed round is going to be uh, animal pairings. But they're no. called, you know, animal, <laughs> animal groupings, you know, like a murder of crows. Wait, do but I get we'll, to steal it now? We'll, do I get to steal it from my no, own No, 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 no. You, you, can't, you, can't, you can't steal it from the same team. Can so I guess it just for fun? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, just for fun? Giraffes. Just, you were correct. Yeah! I, no, no points, but you are correct. Wow. It, 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 do you want to know why I know that? Yeah. Do you want to know why I know that? Why? Because uh, once I was learning about mountain climbing and i learned that tall people um actually have a harder time climbing mountains because of their blood pressure and then i learned that giraffes because they're so tall need to have ridiculously high blood pressure in order to get their blood up to their head and wow. I'm, I'm, I'm very tall i'm very tall this is embarrassing for me well done well done we're back to you carlos maza here we go next to water what is the most consumed beverage globally after water what is the most consumed beverage by human beings. Uh, it's tea. Would, I, would I be able to answer a category like beer it's, or it's, wine, it's, or do I have to name like a specific yep. type? I'm nope, pretty nope. sure. I'm pretty sure it's fine. tea. Yeah. Fuck. My guess is that it's either beer or wine. Um. I'm gonna say wine. That is incorrect. Would either of you like to steal it, Jangles and Demon Mama? Jangles? Incorrect. You lose 25 points, unfortunately. Uh, I would was, love if did. everyone in the world was drinking that much beer, though. That sounds awesome. What was it? I guess uh, at this point, I'll reveal it. The Coffee. answer is tea. Oh, it's tea. Right. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, it's our Western bias. Come on. I was right. I was right. Dylan Burns. Which One was no. the first video that ever played on MTV? When MTV debuted, what was the first oh, no. music video that ever played Wait a second. on it? Oh my goodness. Um, you know what? I think I got this one. It was uh, Little Nas's X, like demon thing. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, Unfortunately, it. not correct. Unfortunately, wow. not correct. Does, any, does anyone? Honestly, it's pretty homophobic. <laughs> it's fucked up. Any it's true. Demon, Demon Jangles. Any old kill the radio star. That's fifty points for for Team yeah. Demon Jangles. Yeah. Yep. That was the first ever MTV oh, video. Oh, oh. Appropriate. Appropriate. Demon Mama. Yes. If Kim Kardashian remarries. What husband will she be on? If Kim Kardashian remarries, what husband will she be on? You're an ass aficionado. You should got this. Come on. Third, right? That is incorrect. Carlos Burns, would you like to steal it? Do you want to? Do you know this, Carlos? Because I don't I know this. I think I think it's second. I think she's only ever married Kanye. Um. Sure, I'll 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 take a I'm, crack at it. I'm I'm thinking four personally, like on a spiritual level. But if you want to go for two, I feel like we would have heard of other Kardashian weddings. I don't want to be Kardashian person. I feel like I'm like not in the loop, though. You know what I mean? Okay, I I'm confident enough to say she was dating someone. No, I think I think it's it'll be her second final answer. Oof. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. You lose 25 points. The well, answer well, was four. Well, it was four. Wow. Yes. I was close. David I'm Thomas, I thought Chris Humphries. Spiritually connected to that. Yep. Man, uh, I had no idea. Damn. All right. Good job, everybody. All right, moving on. Moving on. Who, who did I ask the last question to you? I think it was Demon Mama, right? Demon Mama. Jangles, the best-selling video game of all time. The best-selling... Incorrect. That was the best-selling packaged in console game of all time, but not the best-selling video game. Ooh, Carlos wait. Burns, would you I like to I should have let you finish the question. I got this. 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 Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. You, you say it's finish the question again. What is the best-selling video game of all time? And what, Carlos, did you hear what Jangle said? He said Wii Sports. Wii Sports. Okay. Robbed so you said technicality. You said the best-selling non-console game. You said no, just video game. Video game? video game. So not so Fortnite would be like the most played probably, but it's free. So I'm thinking probably yeah. Minecraft. I remember Minecraft was at the top of that for a very long time. Um, so I'm I'm leaning towards towards Minecraft pretty hard. Are you gonna say it, that? Final answer? Yeah, Minecraft. 
You are correct. It is Minecraft. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. That's I should 50 know, points back to Carlos Burns. <laughs> yeah. We are now... I have too much gray in my hair to know what Minecraft is. That's not That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> We're now getting very, very close. This is the very end. You guys are neck and neck, still tied. Are you ready All for right. animal groups? Animal Shit. groupings? Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. I'm ready, I'm the ready. The first one is very easy, Carlos, and the rest of them are impossible unless you've already looked this up. So, Carlos, first one. What is a group of deer called? Uh, what of deer? Oh, no, I know this one. Is it? Oh, God, I'm from Miami. Oh, somebody told me this the other what day. The fuck is, a deer? <laughs> is it a, it's a, it's a pack of somebody deer? Somebody said this pack? the other day. It's a herd. It's a funny name. A herd of deer. Don't worry, you don't, you don't lose any points. And there's no there's no stealing okay. here. We're just rapid firing this. Right now to you, and this one should have been to Carlos because of the whole Miami thing. Uh, Dylan, a group of dolphins. A what of dolphins? A pod. Correct. Correct. Congratulations. Demon Mama. Gorillas. A what of gorillas? Hmm. Hmm. Infrareds. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> is it a? Is it a? Is it a troop? Uh, that is also correct. Congratulations. Well done. Damn. Well done. Excellent. Jangles. Giraffes. A what of giraffes? A. Uh. What's a high blood pressure medication? <laughs> 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 a beta blocker of giraffes a tower the answer was a tower of giraffes that makes carlos sense. What? to you a grouping of lemurs is known as um a rave <laughs> that's not a bad not a bad guess it's a conspiracy a conspiracy of lemurs <laughs> dylan burns pandas what's a group of pandas called a group of pandas? Um, certainly not an orgy. They don't fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a huge problem. Yeah, it's a really big problem. Um, fuck. I, what about um, uh, extinct? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the answer is the same as the quality of your response. It's an embarrassment. An embarrassment of pandas. <laughs> Demon mama. Seals. A group of seals is a... Adorable. It's adorable. Mm. A... Adorable? Mm. Like a unit of adorables? Okay. <clears throat> is it um no like the meme would be for me to say a club but i know that's not the case it's a harem <laughs> correct it's a harem of seals how did you know that <laughs> what the hell jingles jingles harem went over twitch houses what the fuck a group of sloths is known as A live stream. <laughs> hey yo. Oh, <laughs> is it a depression? No, I don't think it's depression. I think it's a. I think it's a. I think it's a crawl or something like that, or a hang or something like that, or a. Uh, a subscribe to Search TV of sloth. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a bed. A bed of sloths. Oh. I didn't know that one. That's this cool. is your final oh, chance, Carlos wow. Burns, to not lose the game as you were behind in points. So this is it to the two of you. Can you name right now what is a grouping of unicorns? What is a grouping of unicorns? A blank oh. of unicorns. A blank this is it. of unicorns. This is for the whole game. This is what it comes down to. This is the moment we were made for. This is what separates children from adults. Oh. If it's a unicorn compound, then it's a scandal, but that's not what we're talking about. Um, what is it? Uh, a blessing. That'd be right. so sweet. That'd be good. I don't know this one. I want to say it's a fa I can't remember. God, what's the revolution? 
A revolution? Uh... <laughs> a riot? Fuck. Yeah, a unicorn riot. I am. I am. You, you could always just go with Chungus. <laughs> Men who go to therapy. It's a group of unicorns. It's a group of unicorns called men who go to therapy. Have... Go with okay, your so I have an idea. I remember hearing like a song. You know the last unicorn movie? The last unicorn. You know what I'm talking about? That old children's movie? I yeah, remember. Yeah, movie. I remember. The last the of unicorns. I remember in the movie, they referred to like, I think they referred to it as a, as like a, oh, a bless, it. a blessing. Sounds nice. I'm down. He got my lands. Is it? Is it a blessing? Well, I'm I'm, I'm waiting. Is, is that your final answer? I didn't want to. No, it's my final. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm fucked. Guys, gals, and impals, I'm happy to announce, Demon Jangles has won uh, well, the high level ideas. It is a dream, a dream oh, I was close. of unicorns, a dream. Mm -hmm. It's adorable. Wow. That's actually really God awesome, damn though. adorable. That's the closest game we've ever had. Yeah. The closest game we've ever had. Demon Jangles, congratulations. Your brain cream reigned supreme. And now comes the best part of the entire show. The Poggy of Poggies. You get to pick your prize. You choose between one copy and one copy alone of Michael Brooks, Rest in Power, Book Against the Web. I don't know how you will decide amongst yourselves who who gets it, or maybe you rip it in half and you each get a piece. That's that's option one. That's why option two, one. option two, I will donate $100 to the charity of your choosing. To the charity of your choosing, that's option two. Or option three, what's in the mystery box? What's a dollars in the charity box? A loot box, but it's a loot box. Decide amongst yourselves. <laughs> Decide amongst yourselves. Listen to your chats. Your chats. What if the loot you? box is two hundred dollars to charity? Yeah. What if the loot box? What if there's a legendary? It could also be stealing from a charity. What if I could steal from a charity? <laughs> I could actually steal money from a charity somehow. I don't know how yet, but I could find a way. That could be in there. That's the addiction. mystery. You can't do this to me. I have a loot box addiction. Uh, hey, team man. You know you what? I'm happy we lost <laughs> now. It's like, I'm you, happy we lost. Damon, you took the hardest decisions for for this debate. All right, you stepped up to take that. Okay, I'll I'll do this for you. All right, I will choose for us the hundred dollars to charity. I'll do that for you. Okay. But the loot box. I know. I know. That's why. I'm kidding. Charity. Let's do it. Give it to the charity, please. Even well, I can overcome my twist, loot box addiction. In a second twist, you don't get to the side because apparently, it's a blessing. Carlos Burns actually won the game. Wait, what? Twist. Wait, what? Yes. What? Yes, that's what? right. More surprises. More things. What? More show. That's correct. Carlos Burns, you're the actual winners of like, high-level like, ideas. I love Congratulations. it. Congratulations. You did it. But wow, now the question wait, remains: the What? You no know what? Oh, I, yeah. I, 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 this sucks. The, the game, the game is the game is actually technically tied. It's, it's technically tied. But anyways, we're going right back to it. Yeah, you did, Carlos Burns. Pick, pick, pick the prize. Can I take back <laughs> my? Oh, well, let me let me be clear. Uh, uh, I'm I'm a greedy like motherfucker. I want the book. I love Michael Brooks. <laughs> wait, but don't you just get to decide which charity? Oh, no! Nah, I still want the book. Give me the book. Fuck the board. Okay. Nah, nah. What, what, name the charity. Well, decide amongst yourselves. There's, there's which two of you. Again? Oh, we get to decide what charity it is. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you have any strong, any strong feelings about which charity it should be? You, you did much of the heavy um, lifting in this game. You know what? I would say that. Don't they're... listen to Dylan. He's going to tell you to donate to Trump's you know fund. <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah, like to. I'd like to go to the MRA. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards, um, you know what I've actually, uh, I was thinking of doing like a huge charity stream around, uh, the issue of the famine in Yemen. And maybe that'd be something actually, I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know a specific, I'm I don't know a specific charity, except we're going to say something like the UN, like some like UN shit, but I can figure Doctors it out. Borders does that right. They're working in Yemen. Yeah, right? we can figure it out. 
I've been looking into it. So yeah, just something around Yemen. We'll we'll figure it out after stream. Sound good? Green light. So you chose. So, so so just just to be clear, you're not choosing the mystery box. You're choosing the charity. But can we still see what's inside of it, even if we can't have no, it? No, you can't. That's well, that it wouldn't be a mystery box. It'd be a mystery. Box. <laughs> mystery box. Well, the thing is, the mystery box is gonna be guilt for not helping the people of Yemen. Okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be Yemen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's just the Anthony wrote greedy fucker on it. Congratulations yeah. again. Hey, first off, first and foremost, I wanna I wanna thank every single one of you for participating. That was uh, that was sensational. That was a hard fought battle. I Steve Harveyed the ending of the show uh, as is uh, usually typical on the, on high level ideas. But truly, truly, I think everyone here was a winner uh, in in the heart of hearts. But there can only really be one winner. So Carlos Burns will take this one. Uh, decision by decision by judge for the final thing. Uh, I apologize, but congratulations to the children of Yemen. Uh, they were Been also, robbed again. They will also receive uh, the hundred dollar donation. Congratulations. Robbed again. Hey everybody, do you wanna do you wanna plug yourselves, plug your channels, all that great stuff? Uh, dope. Starting with uh, you, Carlo, Carlos Burns. Why don't we go left to right? Carlos, Dylan, Demon Mama, and Jangles. Yeah, um, Carlos Maza. You can find me on YouTube at Carlos Maza Tube, or just search my name. Uh, the search bar, and then filter through all the weird shit about me to find a thing that has my face on it. Got it. Um, so my name is Dylan Burns. I just followed Car Carlos Mazo on Twitter. He's going to do the same back, or he is a terrible person because True. he's a he's a great person, and I know he is. Um, so my name is Dylan Burns TV. I'm a foreign policy streamer. I am a political consultant for a progressive political pack. Uh, many of you know me because I was a foreign policy advisor for Michaela Wilkes and uh, Senator Jill Carter. And um, yeah, so you can you can go to my channel and you can find all amounts of complete nonsense and uh, no IRL weapon smuggling streams. So yeah, Dylan Birds TV on YouTube and Twitch. Go ahead, Jangles. Oh, cool. So said Django Science Light on the YouTubes. I also uh, hope that all of us are following each other on Twitter after this is all over. Dylan? <laughs> so uh yeah yeah so yeah i do uh i do debates uh I'll, i'm actually going to kenosha to uh, do a, a live debate with a whole bunch of people uh and i do lots wow. of uh well research video essays so including one that married my two uh, degrees in exercise science with all my, my passion for like trans advocacy so i have a video supporting trans inclusion in sport with 75 sources in it on my YouTube channel, and I hope that uh, if any of you haven't seen it, you get a chance to watch it to have some really good arguments uh, uh, for the inclusion of trans people in sports. It's fucking good. Go watch it. Seriously. Incredible. Incredible. Thank you so much for participating in this, everybody. Y'all were fucking hilarious. That was that was that was really funny. Well done. Bravo. Uh, I, I will talk okay. to you all soon. Oh, oh okay. So I'm, not, I'm just not gonna get to do a. An outro. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> my bad. Robbed Damn. by Dylan once. That's my bad. Robbed by Lance. I see. He just doesn't care about the losers. Twice. Twice. I don't Twice. Know. You all know. You all know. I'm too powerful to get a plug. You know where to find me. DemonMama.com. See you later. Hey, everyone here. Go to DemonMama.com right now. She's based. Go do it. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for participating. Bye. 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 That was fun. That enjoyed that quite a bit. That was super fun. It was it was super great. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, it was it's cool again, to meet you, always. We yeah. we've gotten to chat a couple times, Jangles, and and you know it's always good. And I, I love your video by the way. And Carlos, it was wonderful getting to hang out with you and and have a you lot too. of fun on this panel. This is a blast. Yeah. All right. See y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye. See ya. Have a great night, y'all. Bye. That was so good. That was so good. Oh my god, I loved that. I will do that any time, any time, any time. I will do that again. Holy shit, that was awesome. That was one of the most fun things I've ever done on this pan on this platform. Holy shit. Okay, everybody, real quick.